So apparently Vin Diesel has just made it official in some uh, doing some interviews saying that there is going to be an all-female led Fast and the Furious spin-off movie. And I can already hear all the outlets that are terrified of any movie that doesn't star a straight white male. The Fast and the Woke. <laughs> Ray came up with The Femme and the Furious. <laughs> Fast X chromosome? Oh, Too deep? Geez. Too deep? <laughs> anyway, yeah, listen, uh, Vin Diesel, the, the Fast X is now out in theaters. It had a mixed financial opening. I mean, domestically was the lowest opening weekend they've had since 2006 with Tokyo Drift. But it had a strong, like, $257 million international kind of release. And we'll see how much money this movie makes overall. But we know there's at least one more movie coming. And recently... Vin Diesel has kind of hinted and maybe suggested that there might even be a third part to the Fast X trilogy finale. Fast X 1, Fast X 2, whatever, we'll see. But it's not surprising that even with them wrapping up Fast and the Furious, that Vin Diesel and the studios are looking to continue on the franchise through a series of spinoffs. When you look at the financial returns that this franchise has made, particularly in the last 12 years, of course they're looking to do more movies. I mean, take a look at this. Yeah, everything before 2011, eh, you know, Tokyo Drift made 158 million, Fast and the Furious, uh, The Fast and The Furious, in uh, 2001 made 2000 and, or uh, 207 million, Too Fast, Too Furious made 236 million, uh, Fast and the Furious in 2009 made 360 million, but then, you know, The Rock came in. Dwayne Johnson came in with Fast Five in 2011. At that point, look at this. 626 million, 726 million, 760 million, 788 million, $1.2 billion, and they peaked with Furious 7 in 2015 with $1.5 billion. These movies make money, man. These movies make money, and even their spinoff, Hobbs and Shaw, a spinoff without Vin Diesel, without the core original characters and all that kind of stuff, the spin been off made 760 million dollars so it's not really all that surprising that vin diesel's talking about doing more this comes from the folks at variety he said speaking to to variety at a recent Charlize theron african outreach project the ctaop block party vin diesel said that a spin-off movie centered on the franchise's women is in the works diesel went on to say that once the mainline films have concluded he can launch all the spin-offs I started developing the female spinoff in 2017 with other spinoffs, and the sooner I deliver the finale, the sooner I can launch all the spinoffs, Diesel said. Okay, let's start first here with the practical aspect of this. So he's already saying, I'm not actually going to get going on these spinoffs until after the main franchise is done. Well, as of right now, we don't even know when the main franchise is done, <laughs> right? Because they got... Fast X Part 2, or they're going to call Fast 11 or whatever, that still has to come. And then sometime between now and when they go into production on Fast 11, they got to figure out, are they in fact going to be doing a Fast 12 or a Fast X Part 3, whatever they're going to end up calling it? Are they actually going to try to stretch this out into a third finale part? And then once they get that figured out, when's that going to be? So we are literally talking maybe four or five years before they get this going? Look, I'm going to go out on a limb here and make a prediction. And this is just a guess. It could be right, could be wrong, or whatever, just fan speculation here. This all-female Fast and Furious thing will never happen. Now, if they said we're going to develop one to come out in two years, I believe that they are going to do it. But with them saying, we'll develop it, and we'll get rolling on them once the main franchise is done, well, that could be several, many years away. And on top of that, I think it's becoming clear this franchise is winding down, right? Like, the people are not responding to it as much. I, again, worldwide, it made a lot of money. Fast X made a lot of money its opening weekend. But I don't know if it's going to have a very decent second weekend because I think it's about to get curb stomped by a fish uh, with Little Mermaid. <laughs> uh, granted, it's Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid would probably curb stomp most movies that were going into their second week. So that's not a knock on Fast and the Furious. So, I, I yeah, given the fact that it's kind of nebulous so many years away the fact that i think this franchise is in its decline and i'm not even sure universal pictures will be all that interested in more fast and furious movies once the fast x part two or fast x part three actually comes out 
Now, look, from an artistic point of view, though, look at these women. I mean, you've got talent for days with female cast that's in the Fast and Furious movies. And why not? All 11 Fast and Furious movies, if you count uh, uh, Hobbs and Shaw, all 11 Fast and the Furious universe movies so far have had male leads. All of them. Even the spinoff. It's Hobbs and Shaw. Two male leads. All the rest of them. All male leads. With tons of female characters, why not try one that's going to be led by the women? Why not? Give it a shot. See how people like it. I mean, take a shot at it. Again, I just don't think it's actually going to happen. But, you know, whatever. That's <laughs> just me. This video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Their Memorial Day sale is running now, and it's a great time to upgrade your mattress. You can get 25% off your purchase for a limited time. Check out the Helix site for more details. Guys, Helix Sleep offers the best premium mattresses, custom fit to your needs, conveniently shipped right to your door. And in case you're not 100% sure which mattress is best for you, Helix Sleep's quiz matches you to the perfect mattress based on your body type and sleep preferences. Guys, you know Ann and I have had our Helix mattress mattress for almost a year and even when we go to Las Vegas and stay in these beautiful hotel rooms we can't wait to get home to get a great night's sleep in our Helix mattress. The mattress comes rolled up in a box and is easy to set up and there's even a hundred night sleep trial to test the mattress out to ensure that you love it. And good news Helix is having a great Memorial Day sale that goes from May 15th to June 4th. Visit helixsleep.com slash campia to get 25% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows during their Memorial Memorial Day sale running now for a limited time. The question is for you guys. What do you think about this? I mean, Vin Diesel is saying that once the main movies are done and we don't even know how many main movies are still left, he's going to get rolling on an all female Fast and the Furious spinoff. But that could be years away. And maybe with this franchise winding down, is there still going to be interest in it from the studios? Is there still going to be interest in it from the audience? Who knows? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and check out our daily podcast, the John Campia Show podcast, available on Spotify, Apple, and wherever you get your podcasts. And also make sure you subscribe to our John Campia daily newsletter. You'll find the links down in the description of this video.